Do you want the best NPI? You need to listen to what Lady Ada is about to say. DigiKey and That's Ada right. bring you. Hi on NPI. from the Adafruit Live Studio band that's over in the next room. That's right. Yeah. Hi, okay. Thanks for the intro. This week, Ion NPI is a product from ST. That's right. We did a bunch of microcontrollers and wireless stuff, and I wanted to get back to my favorite uh, type of chip, which is a sensor. This is a rendering of a very new update to a popular sensor series from ST, uh, following the footprints of the VL6180, and the VL53L0X or L1X, there is now the uh, VL53L3CX. This is the like fifth generation of okay. uh, chip. And um, these are basically micro LIDARs, which is really cool. Um, so the way it works is uh, inside there's like a little, there's like a photon emitter and um, it's like called a v VCSL and it emits infrared light. It's not like an LED, it's actually like a, a laser that shoots out these photons and then um, a sensor on the same chip measures how long it took for that photon to bounce from the uh, emitter off the target and back. And it's like, you know, picosecond range. So this is like an amazingly fast time of flight module and they're so small. Um, they take a lot of measurements and then they can actually tell you with like millimeter precision how far something is. So this is like the overall design called Flight Sense. So um, the way that a lot of people um, sense is with infrared. Um, that's a common distance measurement where you actually have, in this case, there's an LED on the left. It's even kind of rounded. You can see it's round. And on the right, um, there's the detector. And it bounces infrared light and it measures the amount of light that comes back. Um, and this is a very inexpensive, simple way to do sensing, but it does have some downsides. Um, yeah. So, um, talk about this? yeah, yeah here's, sure. here's the uh, comparison. So um, conventional IR, which is, is very common, it's very simple, but it doesn't give you the actual distance. It just tells you, like, how much light, and it's not easy to compare that amount of light because it's not like the time of flight distance. It's just like there's more IR, there's less IR. It can tell you approximately how close something is, but not exactly how close something is. It also is um, commonly affected by the color, the reflectivity of the, uh, the thing it's sensing. So they often test with like a 50% gray card and how much light reflects off of it. But if you have something that absorbs more light because it's darker, um, it often thinks that it's farther away because more light is absorbed, less light is reflected. So it's like, oh, that thing is farther. And so we've seen this come up in um, hand uh, soap dispensers. That's right. We've all seen this video and we've witnessed this uh, firsthand, um, even at Adafruit, because we have a whole diverse company and also, now we have multicolored gloves, and we have these sensors. Yeah, like you have a black glove, and you try to put your hand... Some of them don't work. It doesn't some work. Some of them do, so you have to figure out a way to say, well, okay, it's not just dark. So we've seen this happen. Yeah, this is this, a real-world engineering problem. This is a real-world engineering problem. And so another type of sensor that sometimes people use is um, ultrasonic. But ultrasonic also has some downsides in that you can't put something in front of it. It's very bulky. Um, it's inexpensive, but um, also like it can be affected by noise. So, you know, infrared LED distance sensing is something that, you know, we use a lot, but there's definitely a lot of situations where you can get a bad user experience because the reflectivity or ambient light can affect your readings. So uh, the, this family of chips, again, they started with the VL6180X, uh, which is very simple. Uh, and then um, upgraded to the VL53L0X, which we have a breakout for. It goes up to two meters. And then this is from a slide for the VL53L1X, which was like, wow, it can go up to four meters. Um, and there's a programmable field of view. So 
um, this slide's already old because now there's this uh, new generation. And what's cool about this is it's the same package as the VL. 53L0X. So if we go to the overhead. Yeah, do you, well, we have this photo. No, I want to go to the overhead. You, wanna, you yeah, just yeah, yeah. want to get over it. That's just my reminder to, uh, reminder. to show it off. Okay. So um, this is the breakout for the 53L0X. Um, Let me autofocus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the star of this thing. Okay. Here it is. Star? Okay. Yeah. Um, so the package here, you can see the emitter and uh, the receiver. Actually, I should not know which one is which, but one of these is the emitter, one is the receiver. And it's such a tiny little package. And um, here I got some of these new 53L3CXs. Um, it's a very simple package. It's like a OQFN type thing. It's got the pads on the underneath, but they're fairly large. It's not like a BGA or anything. And um, inside is a little microcontroller that runs firmware that you talk to to get uh, readings from. And it has a cover tape oh, that wow. protects it. So, so there you go. go. So it's the. That's the controller. L3X. So you can, if you have, you know, a board or a sensor that's using the 53L0X, um, this is pin compatible. You can just drop it in. And the, the firmware is a little different, um, but the uh, pinout and power requirements are the same. So okay. what's really interesting about this sensor, the VL53L3X, is it has this new capability of doing multi-zone detection. So it can detect four different distances it's not just one distance it'll tell you like within the field of view that it can see um it can measure different distances so you could probably like do gestures or like have like different heights of like fingers or something so this is kind of neat because it's like it's really getting into micro lidar technology I mean, it's basically doing four point lidar but in like this one by three millimeter package um, so I think that's neat. You also um, pointed me to a video. Do you want to play it? It's about a minute, yeah. a minute, two minutes. This video talks about the flight sense technology overall, and then we'll show people where to buy it. All right. Let's show this, and then we're going to show them on DigiKey where that's to get right. it. All right. Take it away, ST. Hello. My name is John, and today I'm going to change your life. I'm going to show you how an ST time of flight sensor can be used in several applications. The first one, we have the sensor hooked right here. As small as it is, it's hooked to a PC-like device. And as soon as you step in front of it, the device comes alive. When I step back, the screen powers down to save power. The screen can also be made for add to security. That's the ST time of flight sensor. In another application, we can hook it to a cell phone. In this application, I'm trying to spoof with a picture of me, the face detect. But because I know the distance from the sensor to the picture, I know that the size of the face is not correct. So that one's gone. If I have a more realistic size picture, the face size is correct, but the number of photons returned from my sensor from this picture to here is incorrect. It doesn't work. But if I choose the real device, you can see that it detects my face. Now, the trouble is with this sensor is it's kind of ugly, and UI developers don't like ugly holes in their cell phones. So what we've done is hide the sensor behind an optically black or an optically opaque piece of plastic, and as I move my hand in front of each sensor, you can see that it works but you can't see the sensor. It's a perfect for your application. It's the ST time of flight. All right, so just one thing, as people are looking at this in the chat, they're like, I know what I'm gonna use this for. I know what I'm gonna use this for. I know I'm, I, this is a great thing for my project. Yeah. This is why we're doing I on NPI. And I this love is these. Why, so this, the whole fam by the yeah. way, I'm not saying you have to get just this one. The NPI, of course, is incredibly cool. But yeah. the whole family is just a great but set of sensors. The most important thing is we're we do I. this is because you get this on DigiKey. Okay. And this is so fresh, there isn't even an eval board ready for it yet. So this is like the hottest, freshest, noopiest NPI. Uh, but you can pick it up at DigiKey. They, they obviously had a reel of like a thousand. I picked up 30. Somebody else picked up a couple. Um, search for uh, VL53L3CX. They haven't cut tape. They have tape and reel. You know, they have DigiReel if you want. Um, there's software available download from ST. I'm 
kind of currently working through it, trying to get it to be Arduino compatible. Um, but there is like read multi, you know, the, 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 the software for it does say like you can read multiple points of distance data, so up to four points. So this is kind of cool because you can see that they're slowly working up to like having a full 2D LiDAR. Like, you know, you can measure a, a 2D square and give you back uh, mm. a point um, cloud. So that will be super cool when that's available in the future. But for now, pick this one up. And that is on ION NPI. Thank you, Digikey. Hi, on NPI.